Your next contestant, The Price is Right, or at least the um, Wasteland Scavenge Party is right. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. That's just a really terrible joke, but I'm laughing at it because that's what I do when I do something that's really terrible. I try to play it off by being like, hey guys, this is really funny. Hey everybody, welcome back to Falcon Play Sheltered Season Number 2, all the new updates intact, etc, etc. Um, the first three episodes for this little season, I asked, guys, you want to see some more beyond the first three episodes, and I left it up to you guys, and the majority were telling me, Falcon, continue going forward, we do enjoy the series still, and more importantly, the updates are interesting enough to kind of keep it going. So, I shall be doing that. I asked because right now, there's a bunch of stuff happening in the channel. Um, a bunch of games came out this October, I've been doing the Spooky October series as well, so it's been a little bit extra busy around here recently. But, you know, that's why I gave you guys the option and see if you guys wanted to keep this one around or not, and for the majority part was yes. So, we will continue going forward, at least for a few more episodes here, and we'll see how this plays out. Now, right now, there's a bunch of people that are sleepy. We have extended our rooms down here quite a bit, which I'm actually happy about. Let me see about getting another bed up and running, and thankfully, we can make this bed. We have just enough nails to make this bed happen. And we are down to 8 springs. Remember we gave 10 springs to that quest guy? I really hope that pays out pretty well because I'm really noticing the uh, the importance of having springs around right now. So Matthew, let's have you grab this and go ahead and build a bed. I would have preferred it somewhere over here in the middle, but that's possibly not going to happen. So I guess we'll place it right here. But we definitely need another bed because a bunch of people are sleepy. As a matter of fact, Carl's about to keel over over here. You know what? Uh, no, not Matthew. But let... Alright, whatever, Matthew. Let's see, come over here to Melissa. Let's get her out of bed here momentarily and let Carl get some sleep. And if we can, select daughter over here too. Get her out of bed and we'll have Falcon get some sleep. I'll give you guys some um, sleep pretty soon, believe me, I shall. But right now, a few of these individuals before you could use some sleep ahead of time. Now, in terms of water, we're at 54 of 60, so that's okay. Uh, remember, food, now with the traps, they actually trap more than one time now, which is great. So we don't have to really worry too much about that, plus we're, now at, we're at 31 of 40, so I think we're relatively fine. There's nobody out and about right now, which is um, good. It'll give me some time to do some stuff around the base without the constant radio transmission incoming. Falcon, can I, you know, blow my nose? Falcon, can I sneeze? It's like, yes, just go ahead and do it. You don't have to ask me for every single thing you're going to do. Melissa, come over here and get some sleep now. Matthew, you are getting a bit sleepy yourself, right? Let's have you clean the shelter here momentarily. And let's see, Pamela, you're the one who replaced Sharon, I do believe. Now, I forget if you are going to be um, sacrificed and become part of our little soil and green system here. I don't think you are, at least for now. You're going to be um, Carl's little outside buddy. So I think you should be fine. What I'm going to have you do meanwhile, then, while all these things are happening, is just probably come around and fix some stuff here. I don't think you're exactly the, the best fixer out there. But at least for now, it should kind of um, help us out a little bit. Meanwhile, all these other things happen. Now, let's see if I could select my son down here. The picking of people is always a little bit tricky. There you go. Um, come over here and fix this bed, and then daughter, come over here, and if you can, just fix that. Pamela, yep, very slowly going about things right there, but it's going to happen. So, uh, in the comments I've been getting, like, Falcon, you should probably try to focus on just, um... Scavenging things you ideally need and not, like, importance value to you. And by, by by what people mean by that is, like, the whole fact that I always go, whenever I see few, I'm always like, well, I gotta bring the few with me. Or if I see something else important, I'm always like, I gotta bring this with me. Because I'm thinking in the long term, but in the recent, or at least in the present term, not a recent term, but at least in the present term, I could definitely use, like, more of a certain item that'll get me some upgrades here and now, and then we could build towards the other ones and not necessarily have a huge stock of stuff happening. So, um, thank you for that advice. I'm gonna try to keep it in mind here. The only problem with that is that I have a really terrible pack rat mentality, as we've all seen and I have established here many times before. So that's my only downside to that, the fact that I just, uh, I see stuff and I'm always like, I gotta bring it with me. I can't leave it behind, and that's one of my big problems here. So right now we just wanna get everybody rested to begin with. How are we doing on showers, I wonder? You're fine, Carl is... If I could select Carl, he is relatively okay. If I could select you. What, what is it with both of my kids having hazmat suits? Here's the problem. I can't tell them apart now. I don't know who's who. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Which one of you is who? Uh, you're about to fix that up. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Once you're done, whoever this is over here. Falcon's up. Falcon, move out of the way. And Melissa, move out of the way. I should be able to select this little critter now. It's Matthew. Alrighty, Matthew. Uh, once you, Actually, you know what? Return that suit, Matthew. Return to slab. Uh, return that suit really quickly, and I'll know I'll get you some sleep over here, and then Falcon momentarily, you could probably just fix this here, while your son takes that hazmat suit off, and I can tell him apart easier. Now Pamela's over here getting sleepy as well, but that's okay, Pamela, we'll have Carl getting out of this bed pretty soon, and I'll be sending both of you guys out on a little bit of an expedition here. As a matter of fact, 
just come and sleep on this one. So whenever he's just about ready, we could probably send both of you out together for a scavenge journey out here. Matthew, with your badass bandana, I will get you some sleep soon, so come down here. And let's see, medium dust storm on the surface. I don't really see it. As a matter of fact, the light one looked a bit more um, extravagant than that one right there. So right now, going forward, I'm thinking a few more rooms, obviously, just so we have the ability to... Nope, that's Melissa. She's a bit hungry. Just so we have the ability of, um, you know, expanding and getting some more stuff and not have to worry too much about the whole rearrangement process here. So I guess we'll probably do that. Little girl's about to wake up. That's literally her name this time around. Just a girl. Kind of sleep over here. Oh! Carl's up. Carl, where are you going? <laughs> what was that all about? I like he was just chasing my son down, like, for no reason at all. It's like, what's your problem, Doug? And you come over here and add fuel to this one. Carl, you should be fine for the most part. I could give you some food before we send you out. Uh, I guess I probably will. Get some food in you. Girl, you're just perfectly okay now. Let's get you also some food if we can. As a matter of fact, you probably eat down here. Eat down here, and then we'll probably send Carl and Pamela out. I think it's about time for them to do the little thing over here. We have a bunny out there. That's okay, bunny. We have no trap for you, so you're basically free to live a few more days here. Alrighty, so I think everybody's fine for the most part. Melissa should get some water, however. And then she also needs to use the toilet. Oh, we don't have the toilet again. Okay. I could easily take care of that right now, assuming I could, <laughs> again, select girl here, or, yeah, girl. Yeah, she could build it for now. It's not a big problem. So craft the item, and we'll get a toilet for Melissa. And the toilet was hanging out, what, somewhere around here? Kind of close to the food. Some people are like, Falcon, don't put it, don't put it too close to the food, or else they'll get sick. Um, maybe. Uh, I guess it, doesn't really, it really hasn't happened. I haven't had any, any single food poisoning just yet. Because when that used to happen to me all the time, it was because I used to feed them while they were, like, really radioactive. Or at least they were really dirty, in a sense. But, um, whenever you take care of them, or at least have them eat before they're, you know, completely dirty, then it doesn't really happen. So I guess that's how that plays out. But I appreciate the advice regardless of which. You can use the toilet over here. Whenever Matthew wakes up, he'll deconstruct that. Actually, no, it should be the girl, right? She's the one who's, um, hand resourceful. So she should be the one to deconstruct that, if I'm correct here. Okay, so I think it's about time we send some people out here. Uh, let's see. Now, I'm not sure if we should send them out together, or one, at a, uh, one somewhere else and one the other way. But for the most part, Karo is relatively fine. He should be our fighter, right? Mm, kind of. Kind of. Only three. Pamela's actually a bit stronger than Karo, oddly enough. Not exact, not enough dexterity, but... Hmm. Alright, let's set up Pamela first. Hunger and thirst is a bit high. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, but so be it. Uh, let's send... Let's go with the idea of only sending one person out here, right? And let's move about here. We have been to West Kirk for the most part. I think we start. it's about time we start um, finding out some new areas over here. We have another quest down here, too, possibility. There was a really interesting comment that said Falcon. He th he's, It was, like, really um, a really sarcastic comment, mind you. And I don't really appreciate your sarcasm. It's okay if I'm sarcastic towards you and very condescending and, you know, facetious. Because, you know, it's what I do. But I, I read a comment that was like, he doesn't know what the yellow markers um, could sometimes do, and I was like, uh, I actually don't. So whatever you meant by that, I really hope it wasn't like, you know, warning me and, and your little really skeevy type of fashion here, because I don't appreciate that whatsoever, I'll tell you that right now. Now, let's come down here and give you a mask. We'll try to keep you guys healthy here a bit longer. And that's about it. I'm going to give you, like, a trade bait item. You are taking the satchel with you. By the way, before we send Carl out here, I'll probably build one more satchel. So I think we have the ability to do that right now. Uh, I could send you out with, like, at least one book for trade value, so I will. So get on out of here. Carl, 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 you're the next one. You're the next contestant the price is right. Or at least the um, Wasteland scavenge party is right. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. That's just a really terrible joke. But I'm laughing at it because that's what I do when I do something that's really terrible. I try to play it off by being like, hey guys, it's really funny. You gotta be like a, a certain amount of, um, I was gonna say smart, but let's be honest here. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. It would basically prove otherwise when I'm trying to state over here. Let's come to unknown, and then we will do this. I'm gonna skip this little quest here for now. Just for now, because I'm not entirely sure what to expect from it. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 my bad. I can't send you out yet, dog. I need to give you a bag here. So, girl, since you're around here, can you come over here and craft an item? I need another satchel. If we get to tier 3, which is what I'm aiming for right now, what do we need for tier 3, ideally? Let's see, we need two... Ba, 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 up here. So we have all the metal, we have all the pipes here right now. We have. We need four more hinges and seven ropes. Okay, so hinges and ropes would be my ideal 
pick up whatever or drop whatever I have to to bring more Hengens and rope back with me. So that's going to be my plan of attack here. But for now, let's have you come and craft the second satchel. We have just enough nylon to make that happen perfectly. There you go. And I guess we'll probably keep an eye out for nylon since we're out of it now. Alrighty. Oh, that would have been a good hunt right there. I don't think we could even make any more any more traps right now at the moment, too. So we're going to be a little bit low on that going forward. Alrighty, so as soon as that is up and running, we'll send Homeboy out here. Let's see, Melissa, do me a solid if you... Oh, we don't have to clean right now? I'm surprised. Quite surprised. Falcon, you're relatively fine at the, uh, at the moment, too. Let's see, I guess we're just waiting for Homeboy here to wake up. She's... Who is who again? Like, let me see a second here. View. Map. Oh, wait, I know how to do this. No, don't recall her. We have a transmission, no? Uh, yes, search the location. I know how to do this. Hold up, set up expedition here. So, who is my hands-on resourceful? So it is Matthew, after all. Perfect. Good thing I waited up for that. So, Matthew, you come over here and you deconstruct that toilet. And the bag is ready. We will send Carl out there as well. Next person, by yourself. Okay. So, she's coming up here. We're sending Carl down here, so we'll hit this up, and then everything over here. We're going to be a bit low on water pretty soon, so I, I hope it's almost time for our next, um, as Falcon likes to call them, water storms over here. But ideally, rainstorms. I hope we have one of these pretty soon. You equip that, you equip this, and I also... I'm not sure about keeping Carl alive, he's really not that great, but I guess for now I shall. I'm just too not too crazy about the idea of getting rid of all of my gas masks. But then again, we're doing some really important expeditions right here, so I guess we... Did I... I could have sworn I hit yes. I'm not sure what it is about this game. I always hit cancel when I'm not supposed to. Like, somebody mentioned in another video, they were like, Falcon, you're probably doing it by just um, what you're used to. Like, I think somebody mentioned, like, Windows or something. Like, uh, the, conf the confirmation thing is a certain side that I'm already used to. But I don't know what it is about this game. I feel like every single time I'm always, like, hitting cancel when I could swear I'm not equipped. Send party? Oh. Maybe I hit no? I guess I hit no. Don't question it. You know, Falcon. I'm getting older. <laughs> really young in life, I'm getting old. Dementia's about to kick in. I'm not sure what's happening to me. Alrighty, so Falcon, you are okay. Let's we have a radio transmission here. There is all of our items for the bucket. Perfect. Accept transmission. Examine the items indeed. What do you have here? I need all this stuff. Ooh, what is this? Uh, let's see. You can recycle these for more wood. Ooh. I really want to get that recycler, but it's like a level 4 workbench item, so it's going to be a while till we do. But for now, you carry all that stuff and go on forward. Let's see, any cleaning to be done right now? I guess you could probably start doing that. You deconstructed that, which is fine. We have a transmission here. Search the location out. Um, I guess we'll probably get that toilet up and running again meanwhile. So craft item and a little bucket right about here. I think for the most part everything seems fine though. The integrity of our items look pretty good as well. I guess you can start fixing this here a little bit. Uh, and you could come down here and maybe fix that. And let's see up here in the filter 73. Probably soon we'll go up there and fix those, but we'll see. Examine those items indeed. Okay, here we go. So, um, food? Important? Yes, obviously, to keep ourselves alive, but... Now we gotta start thinking about what's more important, and this is where I kind of fail most of the times. So obviously we said nails, definitely. Um, this right here, rubber, always useful. I'll take this. Uh, springs, we're basically kind of low on them. Nylon, we're out now, so we definitely need that. I'll take the wood. And <laughs> I know what I said. And we'll take this. As much as I want the limestone as well for the more rooms possibility, I think this right here is... Actually, well, since we don't have a recycler yet, we might as well leave the log. And we will carry... I think we have enough fuel going forward. I'm going to pick this up right here over the food. Yeah, I'm aware of what I'm doing, but... Again, I'm going to try to think with the idea of building here and now, and then saving stuff later. And I hope it plans out for me here. So, girls done with that toilet? Anybody need the toilet right now, so we can start taking care of that too. Matthew could probably just use it now and get it out of the way. So, use the toilet. And let's see, Falcon, you could use a shower. Yeah, couldn't we all? Let's forward time here a little bit to go a bit fast and just hang out. See what our dudes are going to do. I'm always cautious about going too fast because I feel like, oh, here we go, about time. So, girl, you could now just wash this out. Matthew, take your shower now, son. 
I'm glad about this water. By the way, if this continues onward and I can get showers and toilet use for everybody, we might send Melissa out as well. There is a party out here that wants to signal over to Pamela on her own. Combat really scares me now because it's a bit more... You saw the last fight that we got into, right, with the whole dropping items or making me... forcing me to drop items. I'm a little bit worried about that, so I... Especially got a crowbar here. I only have a pipe as well. We need a weapon. I thought we had a weapon. Do we not have a weapon? I could have sworn we did. Oh, you just want to trade. Oh, thank you. You have a burnt-out laptop and some food. Do I have enough charisma to make this happen? Yes! Okay. Um, here's the thing, dog. I really don't want this. I don't have any room for it either. We're just gonna do this right here so I get the charisma bonus. There we go. That's all I really want to do right now. At least he don't want to kill me with that crowbar, which is uh, really ideal for us. So you watched that out already? Good. Go ahead and use the toilet now. And we have another transmission. Investigate. And let's see. I guess we should probably get the parents up here too while we're at it. Just to get them ready. Transmission again. This will be Carl. Okay. Carl to Melissa. I've crossed paths with someone out here. They want to talk. Shall I deal with this myself? All right, I'll get involved. Um, what's really cool about this is whoever you have selected, they'll talk to. So they're talking to Melissa now, who apparently is the leader. Let me tell you right now, Melissa, I'm the leader. You might do everything better than I do, than my character Falcon, and even probably in real life. But I am the leader. I'm the one who calls the shots around here. Uh, let's see. John. John. Nice beard, dude. Uh, okay, let's get this done. He, oh, he wants to trade. Oh, that's good. Oh, I didn't send this guy out any sort of items. That's my bad. I could have really used these two items right here, too. Eh. What can you do? I forgot to send the trade bait out with this guy. I was hoping you would probably get an item before we got into a trade, but hey, we did not. And that's how we have to deal with it now. So you used the toilet already? Great. We'll give you a shower soon. Falcon, let's have you wash this out here meanwhile. Our water supply should be building up now. I wonder if I have enough to another get another water butt happening, too. I know that girl needs a shower, though. Even with that hazmat suit, come in here and take the shower. And let's see, I've set transmission. Hello, Caro here. I've stumbled across a small house. Yes, search the location. Falcon, are you um done here? Use the toilet. Water is looking pretty good. Set transmission, examine those items. Let's see, no more food. Um, I really would love that knife for another weapon, but let me pick up what I can pick up. Uh, seeds... You know, I've heard in the comments, at least in the before the updates, that planting your own food wasn't really as efficient. So, because of that, number one, we can't make the planter anytime soon, so I'm not going to pick this up, but I'm keeping in mind what you guys said about not being as efficient. I haven't tried it out myself yet, so I'll try to remember down the line. I really want this weapon. You know what, as much as I want another room, I think we need the weapon instead. So I will confirm that knife for now. Alrighty, let's see. Can you... No, you're fine right now. Falcon's just using the old toilet here, and once he's done, we'll have him take a shower. Melissa, how are you doing with the toilet? You are relatively fine, but let's take advantage of it right now and get this out of the way completely. Carl, all right, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we have a lot of trade bait right there. Perfect. Alrighty. Girl, I need you to shower a bit faster than that right now. Out of curiosity, what else can we build right now? Whatever we can build, we got to make sure we're not going to use up the items required for the Tier 3. Um, upgrade. So, we gotta keep that in mind. I could do another shower. No, I really can't. Bad, we're out of nails. I guess the traps is something I'm really interested in. But, um, right now we need a rope for that, which we don't have. Oh, you know what? It's gonna cut into my hinges for the upgrade, but I think it's about time to get a stove at least, because we're just eating food raw. And it's not a big deal, I don't think, but the problem is that you don't really restore too much hunger doing that. Oh, you know what? We could get our another medium water butt. <gasps> you know what? Uh, but wait, the reason why I wasn't doing this was because of plastic, right? I wanted to save some plastic for this here. Oof. We gotta find plastic out there. We definitely need plastic, but if we get another water butt, that means more people going out. More water for a long times of no rain. I'm gonna do this. This feels a bit foolish on my part. I guess we'll probably start dipping into our radioactive tablets if we have to. So I'm gonna get another water butt happening, assuming I can even fit it anywhere. I guess we can. Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem. I wanted to get it up here, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen, so I guess we'll set it down here for now. Really? It stopped raining already? That was way too fast. 36 of 60. Well, I guess it'll be 36 of 90 soon. That was a short water storm, as I like to call them. I'm not too crazy about that one. Alrighty, girl, you could get some sleep over here. Actually, no, no. Come up here and fix these things, and after you fix those things, I'll let you get some sleep. Uh, Falcon, you need some sleep already and a shower, which we never got to, dog. Uh, I guess we'll have to hold off. 
take a sleep over here. I'll open this door up for you. Let me set your transmission and investigate that. Open that up. All right. We didn't get her a shower either. Yeah. That rainstorm was just way too fast. Okay, silver so here, nothing. I'll take the spring and that's about it. All right. So build that uh, third water butt up. I just want to have a lot of those up and running early this time around. Clean the shelter, transmission, search location. All right, so far so good. Once you're done cleaning, do you need anything else? I guess I could get you some sleep now, get that out of the way, so we don't have like 70 people trying to sleep at one time. Search the location, and let's just get that out of the way now. Matthew should be done over here. He's getting quite hungry and thirsty, so we'll have him get some water. Oh, no, no, we want the stove as well. So what I'm thinking is once he's done over here, as a matter of fact, you'll probably do it now. Let's get this stove up and running, too. Again, it's going to cost me a hinge, but I think having a stove should be really ideal for us. No lit, lit area for it, however. So I guess for now, we'll just place this bad boy right here. Transmission. Ugh, somebody in the small house. Yeah, take a little gander, my friend. Just be really careful about it. Hopefully they're down for some, some trades, if anything. We have Rambo dude over here with a knife. That's not the knife. Uh, no, don't bully anything. Let's do some trading. All I get left is some weapons. Luckily, he doesn't want to trade them, and he doesn't want to kill me, so I will gladly accept his um, proposition to me, which is not to kill me. Uh, nails, wood, spring. What is this? Plastic bottle. Ah, you can recycle it into plastic. Interesting. And... No, rubber. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, really? Uh, but no, no. Um, nothing over here is really calling out to me, so I will confirm that. Alrighty. I think we wrap it up here for today. I think we have done some really good stuff here. Actually, let's accept this transmission again. Examine the items. Yes. All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up here for today. Hopefully, enjoy it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support. Doesn't mean a lot. Uh, I think we're doing relatively fine so far. We're keeping it kind of safe. And around the base, things are looking pretty good. We're expanding quite well. Um, stick around for next episode again. As long as you guys are interested in it, I'll keep doing it. Otherwise, we will probably wrap it up for something else in the um, channel. But for now, I think we want to keep going forward, definitely. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.